All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I thought I'd take a little break from uh, the moon. Um, been looking through my files. I uh, just thought I'd chuck some stuff out there. It's um, pretty cool because off the back of uh, this one, I found uh, loads of stuff which we'll be having a look at. And generally, it's just going into like the the masking or the 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 efforts they go to to doctor and pre-edit these images before we um look at them so this is it it's very nondescript and it you notice the color of this um pretty weird uh mars doesn't seem to be that color anymore um if you've been um checking out the <coughs> the latest stuff this is a curiosity I'm not sure what year they got there i was looking at some bits and bobs about you know how long we've been there they've been well they started uh, 64 was the first orbiter images of um, mars and i think the first uh, rover was about 97 so from 97 up until now they've been telling us this place is dead flat as a pancake nothing happening there so why are they there it's, it's one of the questions I believe um, it's something to do with uh, funding, keeping the uh, scientific community happy, etc., etc. So anyway, let's get into this. Um, so I found this looking through my files. I'm going to point a few things out. Um, if you haven't seen any of the other um, Mars stuff that I've done, um, go and have a look. Um, this stuff is all over the place. There are other channels that do this as well. Um, and it's very bizarre. Um, okay, let's go straight in and have a look. I don't know how brief this was going to be. I don't know if you can see this already. There's like weird little lines and stuff everywhere. And it's um, part of the way that they um, put the images together. But on some of the other videos, we've looked into that. And it looks as though some of the anomalies that we're finding in the image um, actually have that in them and it's like something that is overlaid onto it to try and mask what is actually um, actually there in the image so straight away here um, yeah and the quality of them it, uh, you know they're very low uh, this is Sol 1373 um, so you can see, uh, let's just, I'm going to have, I was going to overlay this stuff so I could fade in and out. Um, but if we just get to the, you can see that this is, this is the quality you get. It's not very cool. This whole area blurred out. As you can see. And it's um, a frequent thing that we get with uh, various bits and bobs of the photograph or blurred the the makeup of the images the quality changes from area to area so these are the bits we want to point out and like I say if you haven't seen any other stuff go and have a look at them because it's so incredibly weird we can't actually work out what this stuff is so you know if it's used to be there or what um, don't really know but it's think it's quite obvious that these guys use some sort of software to turn what is actually in the photographs into rock and things like that and it does look like part you know um, used to be part of something or is some bizarre alien type um, formations as you know really unusual formations and stuff so I'm just going to zap around and have a look at this stuff. Um, so you can see that strange striping. But then we have, I've only pulled out a few bits and bobs on this image. Um, so let me know what you think they are. Um, to me, they look like some sort of mechanical machine type sort of things and and from from this i was looking in this and then i um, i 
found a low vav image you can see them up here i'll give you a quick snippet of them but i'm going to do separate videos for those um just to highlight that you know what we're actually looking at isn't um <coughs> any sort of real interpretation of um what they are actually looking at <coughs> excuse me so uh, there's that bit there there's some unusual stuff in here it's, it's not but there's definitely something going on it and i'll try and zap between these So you can see, and, th and this is what they, they, they say they give. This is the quality of the images they say they give to the researchers to to research the, the images with. Um, which is just a crock of. You can see different areas of blurring and stuff. And there's some interesting bits and bobs as well. I mean, one of the videos, you know, I, I talk about, you know, false shadows and um, backgrounds and um, ridge lines, which aren't ridge lines um, and stuff like that. So you could just let me know what you think these are. Um, but you can see it all over the place. And like I say, I've only I've only done a little bit of this just to highlight them what I'll do I'll just reduce this so you can get a better is this area I haven't looked at any of the uh, perseverance or, or or any of the other ones just let me um now this is quite Curiosity. Not sure if it's in this one or not. But at the bottom. No, it wasn't on this page, but it gives you a, a, a list of. We're going to be looking at this image as well. Huge structures in the um, mountains there. So. Um, so I, had, well, I haven't had a look at any of the, the new stuff and I'd like like to see what what they're pushing out I did watch a documentary about it and it was just like uh, it's just NASA narrative it was horrible to listen to have I got my tools ready And yet again, we've liked the planetary stuff that we look at as well. It all seems to be, you know, joined up and things like that. So you can see like this weird sort of striping. You know, they look like pieces of um, machinery and stuff, but it's part of the rocks if they are rocks so there's a bit in here I'm going to show you which what I'm talking about uh, you find like a you need know, get lots of sand like uh, little sand dunes and stuff and things like that and they're not 
they, they literally added it into the image to break it up. So the quality is pants, but like I said, this is what we have to deal with. So yeah, just from looking at this one, I've got like five more videos to do. They're not gonna be hugely long. Um, but a number of years ago, I was looking at um, the traverse maps of these um, rovers and with the technique that I use, I was basically finding structures all, all around them. So then that says to me, are they actually where they say they are? Because obviously the, the images we see, you know, you don't see any of these anomalies at all because the images are doctored so are they where they say they are or are they in an area of Mars which is just like this desolate flat destroyed however um, So like I've explained before with using the tools I've done, especially in a co color image, it starts saturating everything and stuff, but I need to do, and then I will change to the grayscale. Okay. So this stuff looks machined. It's the same, the same technique I use on the, the other maps. Like I say, you know, it changes, you know, it depends what the, the image wants to do in regards to the order you use the tools in or the strength of them and stuff like that. What does that look like? So, like I was talking about, let's just quickly zip into there. So it's this area here we're looking at. Okay, we'll go in on this low quality one. You can see the stuff in here. But this to here is not real. from here you can see right that's this area which is quite colorful there is shadow in this image yeah so you've got this sand here and stuff and that sand is to mask how this is uh, let's just have a look So you see this area here. See this and this. 
part the same thing. rough and ready guys but um, so you can see this stuff is joined so they've put the sand in to break this stuff up look it's the same through here if you work on it enough you'll be able to pull that out like in some of the other videos have a look at those and it's um, It's everywhere. You see how that has just been stuck in there to break it up. I don't know. What do you think? I mean, it, it, that looks pretty obvious to me. It's the same here as well. What is it though? You can see it stretching all the way through. And in some of the other videos, I've um, been able to break through like big blocky areas. Gonna do anything? Sorry, guys. I'm sort of uh, no. That's the same. Okay. I should have made a bigger one so you can properly see. So, like I was talking about, so you see these wonderful images, which are now not this color anymore. Mars has changed color apparently. So there we have it. What is this stuff? It is stuff though. You can you can clearly see that is not natural rock. see the, the low resolution on this but there's something in there
you know, and it, it, if this was a, a thing. And it wasn't hidden like it obviously is. You know, they'd be talking about, you know, Mars has it's got the most strangest rocks. I can't remember what it is. Is it um, one of the rocks that are there? You, you get him on, you get it on Earth, <coughs> and it's a very fractured, sort of flaky-looking rock. It's in the other videos, but go and check them out. There's more. There's a few of them. I've never seen this before. What is it? And in one of the other videos I've done there, done the whole thing and this you know this this stuff is everywhere and it's, it's like the 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 like all the videos as well it's um <coughs> just give yourself time to adjust to the horrendous quality and i've tried to make it better Is it part of old structures? Is it some sort of machinery? little bits sticking out here Ooh. sorry if you can see the screen getting darker it's not a happy screen That's crazy. What is that there? Now that looks metallic, but it could just be the nature of the way that I'm doing this with the, the colour in the tools, like I say, how it saturates and stuff. 
but it doesn't look like it's uh, reflecting. Let's just see if we can get anything else out of that. There are a few sites that do um, stuff on Mars. Some good, some just completely dug their own holes. Unfortunately, they you know they say they come out, and then this is no. I'm not having a go. I'm just um, I'm just saying that they should investigate the images a lot more before they start labeling stuff. You know, like trucks and kitchen sinks and various things like that and I do look at them and I do go and look at the images just to reassure myself that I'm not going completely mental um, as to what they're looking at and they, they are looking in the right areas they're just simply not exploring the image enough and they're only they're labeling what they're what they're seeing and it and it's not right and because as soon as you say something like you know whatever they think it is, you know, people, you know, unknowledgeable people are going to immediately think that, um, you know, that's what it is. I have a lot of respect for, you know, these guys have been working for years and years and years. Um, it's not all of them, is it? There's only one, really. It's just a bit, it's a bit silly. So you can see how this stuff starts joining up and spreading across the image, giving us a completely different um, view, interpretation of, uh, however you want to say it, of what is actually going on. It's incredibly strange. If you're new to all this and everything, I can. Uh, there's other videos with tutorials. I am going to update them. Um, uh, it shows you how this works. Um, I show you and I explain it. See my mind's wandering now. But as I always say, this is the information in the image, and uh, th this is so strange. there you have it guys um, I'll have something coming up really soon because um, I'm going to be very busy in a week or so um, nice one cheers